<laughs> your knees uh, <laughs> x-rayed. They put that fucking uh, umpire thing on your chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what my skin on my nuts is. It doesn't go through. <laughs> it's like umpire fucking shield. It doesn't go through because I hide that sack behind there. And it, it, all they can see is this motherfucker got three nuts. <laughs> That's all they can see. He's the luckiest motherfucker. How does fucking sexually transmitted diseases come from? Who was the first person to get herpes? Like, how did how did that get? Kelly Kirsten. <laughs> <laughs> now Capone died of syphilis. Syphilis, yeah. Fucking yeah. syphilis. Now what mm. is syphilis? How does it get into That's a good you? Question. What comes out of your dick? I mean, you know what comes? What leakage? When I was about fifteen, my buddy told me he had a problem. He goes, "Can you go to the fucking clinic with me?" I'll never forget going to the clinic after school, not even thinking about it, guys, mm -hmm. and seeing bitches with sores in their mouth and fucking shit leaking. I was like, I made a mental note right there. <laughs> like, right there, I was like, I ain't fucking around with bitches till I'm older. I knew a guy who used to say that fucking pussy with gonorrhea was the best pussy. What? <laughs> that is crazy. Because it was so hot. Because it was, like, feverishly hot. Oh, my God. What? I think it's safe to say that, that guy's a silly bitch. How many times has he done it? Yeah, that's I crazy. Don't know, man. So I what do you do? Stunned. Put an ad for gonorrhea bitches in the fucking mail? Hold first of on, all, I'm looking for a bitch with gonorrhea. First of all, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. <laughs> but I will tell you where I was. Between the ages of 7 and 10, my mother was married to a very violent man. Not towards me or my mother, but he was very violent. I.e., I seen him shoot somebody in the leg when I was eight. Shoot! Not hear about it, not because somebody told me. I seen him throw two wicked beatings on people, and I seen him stab a few people. His weapon of choice was having a knife. Do you know when I was eight, Joe, I had a living in, and I had, my mother had that, the big house with the bedrooms, but she made my bedroom the attic, and I was very scared of sleeping up there. And I would throw a tantrum like any other child who's eight or seven, you have children, was scared, we heard the boogeyman. Do you know this guy used to give me a gun with a silencer? When you were eight? Eight. Give me a gun with a silence and said, there ain't no spirits. If you see a spirit, you shoot him. And I'd put the thing down next to him and I'd go to bed. And he'd come up in the morning before my mother come up and he'd go, give me the gun back. And I'd give him the gun with the fucking silence and he'd go downstairs. Hmm. I have fucked women from every aspect of life. What I'm saying is like bars, coke fucking haunts. <laughs> coke right, haunts. You know, airplanes. You know, we've gotten our dick sucked as comedians after clubs and fucked them with no condoms. I'll tell you what. I've never got a disease. You know where I got diseases from? College girls. Those are the filthiest <laughs> little motherfuckers out there. Yeah. Those little keg-going, dirty fucks <laughs> that get fucked and they don't remember and all that shit. <laughs> Them filthy fucks. Those are the filthy motherfuckers. I got that chlamydia shit where you had that yogurt coming out of your dick. <laughs> oh. And then I gave it to the chick. I had not now. I mean, I'm fucking 50. I had it when I was 28. I caught it from a waitress at the broker, a joker, where I was a, a, a comic there. I was the house MC on Tuesdays. Where is it? And then Boulder. That's why I started comedy. It's called The Broker? The Broker Inn. All right. Broker they in. used to have The Broker Joker. And on Wednesday nights, it was spon Tuesday nights was sponsored by, what was the other beer in the 90s beside uh, uh, Heineken? That Coors? was Germany. No, no. Oh, Bex? Bex. It was Bex Comedy Night. Oh. So the Bex would give me a deuce. Bex fell off. Bex, yeah, they, they were done. What they happened were, with Bex? Fuck, they made me yeah. the house MC. <laughs> 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 fuck those cocksuckers, right? And I and I banged her in the fucking, and I banged her first for like a year. I was in love with this college chick. I kept getting itches. This chick had more fucking disease. And one day I go to eat that little monkey, and you can see like where the chlamydia leaked out of her monkey, and it dried, and <laughs> whatever. It was like paint after you paint it, and the fucking monkey just dries on the wall. <laughs> And shit like that. I looked at and I, I didn't go to the doctor either. That time I got chlamydia, I didn't know until years later. I asked somebody what happened to like chlamydia. Because nobody died. You know what I'm saying? I don't I ain't going to the doctor in those days. I was 28. Yeah. I was too busy slinging dick. What do they do for you? They give you a shot? Because your body fight it off if you don't for get the chlamydia? Shot? Yeah. I don't know. I don't th I Dog, think I that's something if you go to the doctor. I didn't go to the doctor. I didn't find out until years later when I, I was embarrassed and I asked somebody coked up. I said, listen. When you get that little white yogurt that comes out of your pussy, it just dries <laughs> mid-level. What is that? They're like, it's chlamydia or some shit wow. like that. See, I thought the word, because I had the word clit in it, you couldn't get it. Like, no, no, <laughs> oh, you're a filthy fuck. And then she used to have a Korean roommate that gave me something to do. That's Ohio suburbs, 14-year-old <laughs> well, like, science. It's like penis 
dribbles or something like that. You can't, like, if you have a vagina, you couldn't get that. Oh, I get it. You I know what I mean? Like, chlamydia, because yeah. it has clitoris in it. Yeah. Clitoris. The, 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 the Korean roommate that when she went to New York gave me something, too. But that was the <laughs> venereal disease. That was like a rash where I just scratched my fucking skin off my nutsack. And what'd you do about that? I had At that time, I had to go to the pharmacy, and he goes, dog, you need help. So you went to like, a pharmacy and pulled your dick out? No, I showed him my nuts. Like, I was friends <laughs> with the fucking guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, my CVS you know. is completely different than yours. <laughs> <laughs> what was what neighborhood was this in? This is in Boulder. By, uh, oh, okay. This is in North Boulder. By, by the hospital. So there. you go, hey, listen, I dog. Just, no, I, I knew, knew, you I knew the dude. dude. I knew the take dude. a look at my nuts. <laughs> I knew the dude. I knew he snorted blow, so I would bring him a rock from time to time and right. give like free medical advice. Okay. So fuck it. That was it. So I don't trust guys if they have cologne on. Do you know that? If I smell cologne on the guy, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, but I put it mildly. He has a good smell. Timberlake, the fucking singer. Yeah, here you probably can't even smell no, it. I don't, don't smell no, I don't want to smell nobody. <laughs> Trust me, I'll fucking fart right on your leg. Don't, <laughs> don't come over here, you fuck. I don't want to smell no. Color. Whatever, yeah, whatever you're stinking of, he does not. Come on, don't do it to him. No, you can't smell. It. I can't. Don't smell do it, Joey. Don't do it. Don't let him. Nah, don't don't let him. Shit. Go away, cocksucker. <laughs> Go away, cocksucker. <laughs> Uh, go away, cocksucker. Is that Mitzi Shore? Go away, cocksucker. I'll stab you with this coffee pick. <laughs> Lang, less pretentious. Jesus less pretentious. Christ. Than her. <laughs> and it's not coming out of... Together. Joey Diaz. That's not Joey <laughs> Diaz. <laughs> that looks like Joey Diaz fucked big pussy in Japan. <laughs> 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 I was fucking well, with it. Did you see this commercial, Joe? Bob was never around. For years, people would push computers on me or whatnot, cell phones, all that stuff. My friend said, listen, go to GoDaddy.com. I went over to GoDaddy.com. I didn't know about computers. I didn't know about social networks. I knew nothing. I went to GoDaddy. They had a web builder. One, two, three, boom. Step by step, they're with you right away. Once you do it, poof, within minutes, your web page is up. I didn't have that online presence. People would have had a call here like it was still 1969. But ever since I got GoDaddy, I get PayPal, I take Visa online, they got the open table, not to mention my Yelp reviews are great. <laughs> Frank's Pizza is number one. Go to Frank's, the service is exceptional. Frank's delivery system is always on time and the pizza is always warm. If you want to build your empire like me, start with GoDaddy.com. GoDaddy, what's happening? Nothing. I'm just calling you to see what's cracking. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Old Spice. That's what I prefer. Old Spice Sport. Not antiperspirant because I'm not trying to stop sweating. I like sweating. I'm not going to bullshit you. Sweat I do have a good. little baby CK1 at that CK1. Whatever the fuck it is. I love it. Whatever the fuck it is. Just in case I got reefer on me <laughs> and I got a suit on or something. And I don't want, you know, I'll put a little dab on my neck. What is this one? What is this commercial? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Try to be discreet. I don't have to be discreet. Now, what if these people ever see you on stage or listen to one of these fucking podcasts? They, no, no. The funny thing is that these kicking it. The funny thing is that all these shows, to advertise them, they're put on there by the networks. Nickelodeon knows that if they're going to put out a trailer on a commercial, it's a lot cheaper to put the trailer on on YouTube. The right. kids will know that they're coming up and they'll hit it. Yeah. There's thousands of hits on these trailers for kicking it, right? Mm -hmm. You go to the trailer that I'm on and you got to see what it says. If you ain't high by 2 o'clock, go <laughs> fuck your mother. <laughs> Lucy Snowbush, I want to eat your pussy on Quaaludes. You got to see like the one for like... Uh, uh, Pull up the comments, Brian. What is this one? That's the end. Glad to see you came to your senses. <laughs> this is what? You got my money? What is this? this you is, got my goat? This is kicking it. This is right there. <laughs> Jerry, should you be making a delivery? I'm done with delivery. When I took a job with you, I didn't know what kind of person you were. Whoa. But I do now. What are you doing here with <laughs> goat boy? We're here for this. I was here. United for the States government killed Bruce Lee. I would no, it wasn't no fucking government. I was here for the Bruce Lee invasion. A lot of people were here for the Beatles invasion, not me. I was here for the Bruce. I was here when everybody was walking around with Chinese shoes. So Raymond Chow Ch with known CFI. Times. No, Raymond Chow. Yeah, he's exactly like a producer of like every single movie in the world. Okay, yeah, after seventy three or before seventy three. <laughs> United now, States. Let's only. look at all those movies and how many of those movies do you think he got to fuck white girls in? How many? How many were they brought wow. white chicks to him? Wow! And he just had wow. mad white chick orgies. Now before seventy three, he was Enter the Dragon. What else? 
Chinese Look at connection. all those goddamn movies. That's the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. Ever. That guy, that guy directed a hundred fucking in. movies. What are the actual numbers, Brian? What is, how many num- uh, How many movies did he actually direct? Does it say? 160 he produced. Holy Dude. shit. But you could like be produced on a couple of different movies at a time. You can't really... Can you really... Oh, go <clears> down <throat> again. Look at that. He produced... Keep going. Slowly. Slowly. Slowly, you fuck. Game of <laughs> All right, but keep going up. Keep going up. Up, up, up. The other way. The other way. The other way. Up, up, up. Slow down. Slow. <laughs> the keep big going. brawl. Uh, Game, Game of, of Death 2. Oh, oh he's that, that was the worst one Cannonball ever. Cannonball Run! Look at these movies this motherfucker did. He did Brought Cannonball Run. Run. Look at this shit. <laughs> Breakthrough. Look at this. Keep going. Keep going. What's Breakthrough? Who the fuck knows? <laughs> <laughs> So what's next, Joey? You know me, baby. You know what's fucking next. What's Friday that? night. Friday night. The 21st, 8 o'clock. We'll turn motherfucking theater. I'm eating the first edible like at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm timing it all perfectly. I'm doing MGMH at 4. What's MGMH? I'm, I don't know. Human Go Promo. Mixed with fucking sauce. mushrooms. Bath salts. Mm. Bazookas. I'm doing everything. It seems transporting across state lines is one issue, but then there's another issue I think is like sending stuff through the post office. Yeah. It's like, they're like, listen, bitch. You fuck with us. Will you make us a part of your deal of bringing illegal shit places and we're the government? You kill you, bold motherfucker. No. So they, they went, went after those people. Here's the thing in California, <laughs> I know for a fact. If, let's say, you have a friend that calls you and says, hey, man, you know, we grew up together and everybody's out there in Cali whoop and listening to Rian. Send me a bag of weed and a cookie. And you do somebody a favor and get like a VHS box, put weed in there and, right. and send it to him. He'll never get there. Those mailmen, I've had friends that said the, <laughs> the box has gotten there, ripped open like a dog ate it. Like, let's say, like, <laughs> like it's gotten there with the address on the bottom. I swear to God. And they've taken the weed right out of there. Of They're course. savages. And They're they just savages. send it. Like, what are you going to do? Oh, about that it? Hollywood post office on Wilcox, don't send nothing out of there. <laughs> You go in there, every Filipino's high as fuck in that place. Everybody. Everybody's fucked up. The trucks are crooked. <laughs> sure. Because <laughs> they eat my fucking edibles when I send them those cocksuckers. Do they eat them? They, they, they just do steal them all. They, they steal, steal all. every... I sent, I sent my... This is, this is no story. This is Allegedly. no lie. We'll call the guy. Allegedly. I sent him a little bit of reefer and Eddie's book, and he said the fucking thing got there a month later. <laughs> A month later, I bought like the three day <laughs> delivery. A month later, ripped open with Eddie's book in it, and they took the weed. Oh, that's hilarious! Okay, Eddie's book got there. But they took the <laughs> you can't leave anything to government nothing, agencies, man. Nothing. <laughs> you know what the biggest animal I ever saw in Boulder was? What? A snake. Really? Right off Lee Hill Road. I never seen nothing like that. One of those yellow motherfuckers coiled like this thick. What, what, what kind of snake was it? I, well, I stopped and asked him. You know, <laughs> you know, I asked him where he was from, how long you've been in this country. <laughs> and Colorado is, is known for that shit. Restaurants, Kablunics, where you take you. I told, we discussed this, where they take you, they pick you, meet up on the top of Snowmass Village, and they take you there in those things with the dogs. Right. Achoo, achoo. They take you over a mountain, you, your wife, and they put blankets on you. It has to be in the winter. This is real shit. They pick you up at five thirty sharp. You get there, you come out, and you get all the alligator, fucking uh, dinosaur, this, dinosaur, <laughs> fucking Puerto Rican meat, anything. <laughs> you, can, you can fuck. Them. You can order anything. A fucking rat, anything. Yeah. You read a tweet and you go to that person's page and you go, I get it. Person's Once I read page? somebody's tweet and I go to their main page. I could put, I could add up right in one minute. I go, I get it. I get where he was coming from. Mm. I understand why he said that. He's a musician. He's that. He's a politician. He sells this. He right. likes, like, to this, today somebody hit me. Then I read, he's a Paul Reiser fan. I get it. You're a fucking mook. You know what I'm saying? I never met a Paul Reiser fan. <laughs> so if you're a Paul Reiser fan, <laughs> shoot yourself in the fucking mouth right now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my once, goodness. I could, once somebody's, I, it's, if I go to somebody's page and I see, like, music, and I know the music sucks, that's where it ends. Because if his choice of music sucks, that's what, if I don't see fucking one of my three on there, like I remember going to people's, there's two things I judge on people. I don't judge people by money or nothing. I judge people by their music collection. If I look at your music <laughs> collection and you, got, and you don't have Sabbath Paranoid, if you don't have the staples, Zeppelin two, those are the staples. <laughs> if you don't have Zeppelin two, why are we here? Why I'm not smoking dope with you. <laughs> why are you wasting my fucking time? I'm over here. You got like the dun, dun, best dun, of Judy dun, Grant. Dun, dun, dun. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's and number two when you open up somebody's refrigerator. There's certain yeah, it's true. 
You know, but that tells me everything. If you're a fucking mook, if you're a mutt, if I see like low end beer, you're a fucking mutt. I ain't never coming here. No Are more. there certain people that um, they have music laying around just because it's cool? But tons of them. That's yeah, why. Like, well, there's, like a, like there's, there's a generation yeah. of people <laughs> yeah. that want to say, and I know this, and I don't hate you because I'm kind of the same way that they don't want to like Floyd. They, they prefer to listen to oh, that's so commercialized. Yeah, I listen to Morrissey. <laughs> You know, they make yeah. you feel bad. The worst being the Tom Waits era. <laughs> Those motherfuckers are the ones I want to punch them right in the fucking face. Because they're the ones, you're having a good time listening to something, you're bobbing. They want to, like, really impress, like, some fucking dumb chick with freckles or something. You know, that everybody's <laughs> fucked already. Don't, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's fucked. All you need is tequila and a gram of blow, and she'll be sucking your dick in the fucking bathroom. Whoa. But you want to be cool. And look, 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 the Tom Waits. Have you ever listened to Tom Waits? Um, um, you yeah, want to yeah, fucking it's not my shoot style. yourself. Yeah, I don't that, like if it. That's good singing. You want that? You're fucking an idiot. But the only reason that people would put that shit on is to try to overpower you with their fucking Star Wars. What do you call that? <laughs> the fucking thing with the mind the Jedi, force? the mind the Jedi, Jedi mind fucking tricks. trick. That's it. Oh, he's so. Oh my God, he likes Tom Waits. Listen to that. Right, shit, they're though. trying to. Let make me themselves. sit you down with a gun next to your head. You tell me if that's true. <laughs> That's good singing. That's good fucking singing. That's the Beatles. Y'all fucking shoot you. I'll fucking put a gun to your fucking head, all right? Telling me that's good music. You're fucking 20 years old. Knock it off. Like when somebody says they like the Dave Matthews band, I will pistol whip you. Oh. The deck, I will pistol whip you. I have satellite Amen. on the way up here. And I just, they were doing Exodus. Into me. They were doing Exodus by fucking Bob Marley. I almost crashed the oh, fucking man. car. Could Dave Matthews, loved? a white dude with no shoes on and a black dude playing that. It fucking, it's too, oh it's too God. made up, Uncle Joey. Stop oh. it. I think he's got some good songs. Dave Matthews got a few good songs. Oh, please, you get me emotional. Thank God I got the other one. I don't like sexual stuff on television early. Can you believe that? You I mean like girls day. making out? or like No, like, let's say I'm watching Diane Sawyer and they have like a condom commercial. I'll still fucking lie. lose my mind. A condom commercial will bother you? Oh, it's still because little tampon kids? really destroys me. <laughs> tampon commercial, I want to choke myself. My wife is in the room or like your aunt's in the room or some older woman. Since ah! I was a kid, they did a Kotex commercial. I would sit there and look fucking straight ahead, dog. I never get so embarrassed in my life. I don't want them to ask me if I know, and I don't want to fucking know if blood, if blood comes out of your snatch and what you... <laughs> And what you put up there, that's got nothing to do with me. I'm just going to look straight at it. Don't even bring it up. You know how there's some women that's cute? Yeah. They, they think it's cute. Like, hold on, I got to go get a tampon. Listen, I don't want to know. I don't want to know if you bleed. You just ruined everything for me. And, you know, I, I don't want to know. That's Does that really bother him? Uh, that bothers me. He hates me. the sight of blood. A con oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I hate the sight of talking about that your fucking pussy's bleeding around me. That's what I fucking hate. When, even when they have it in their purse, I get sick to my fucking stomach. Oh, so I don't want to see a fucking tampon around me. <laughs> I don't want to fucking see a tampon at all. All right? When I'm watching TV and a tampon commercial comes on, even when I'm by myself, I feel creepy. That's so weird. And can condom commercials, that new commercial with the chick's head popping out, or the fucking thing with that you put on your finger. Have you seen that fucking commercial? The chick with the creepy finger? Yeah. She try, you know, this is great to relieve stress. You know what, man? I don't want to know about that shit. Play it out after. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, my God. That's a zombie. Oh, my God. What is that? Is that a zombie? Pussy. So put that away. Oh, my God. That's, That's broken. Terrible. That one's broken. That is just, that <laughs> offends don't even, me. Don't even get that one fixed. To this day, anything vaginal <laughs> sprays. Anything vaginal on television before like <laughs> ten o'clock drives me up a fucking wall. I'm, I'm, and after my mother died, like I was home for a week, and this lady was taking care of me, and I get this call one night, and it's this chick, and she goes, you know, you want to get together? And I, I was feeling bad, you know, I didn't know she was gonna throw me a little lottery pussy, like my little funeral pussy. I never got funeral pussy, but it exists, you know. Funeral pussy? Yeah, like after somebody dies in your family, some chick calls you and sucks your dick. Really? Yeah, like I because they feel bad. Like they're like a maybe they're like a like a one of those <laughs> women that hang out at comedy clubs and they like comedy <laughs> groupies. Groupies, yeah, like the, they, they like Shark to have fuckers. sex with people after somebody dies. I'm, I'm serious, but I knew her. She probably just called me out of the kindness of my heart to make me feel well. So I walked from 38th Street to 46, grabbed this bitch, and walked back to my house on 38th Street. I'm all fucking horned up. We start swatting. <laughs> I take her pants off. I pop her panties off and the Kotex. Pops out of her he pussy like a tongue in one of those fucking haunted houses, right? Like, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like this, like this. Blah! They pop up like, blah! Like that. Right? 
And I just sat there frozen. Like, I had never seen that before. I had never smelled that before. I had never been around anything like that. My mother had just died. That was traumatic enough. This would just set me over the fucking cliff. How <laughs> that woman's still alive today, to this day, I don't even look on Facebook to see she'll, because I might kill her. Because she, <laughs> she fucked me up, Joe Rogan. Fucked me up. I told her to put her pants on. I remember walking her home. The whole time I wanted to, I didn't, I didn't know how to control myself. I, didn't know how to control myself. <laughs> I watched that movie it was on about a month ago. That stupid movie Twenty One. What, what was that movie that the girl got killed? Eric Roberts played the creepy boyfriend. Oh yeah, Sh- Tate. What uh, no, was no 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 no. I'm sorry. Movie. That's it. Come on, uh, ch- come on, guys. What the fuck? Hey, <laughs> she was the playmate. Nineteen eighty one. Sharon. I know. Come I, on, guys. Eric Roberts. Eric uh, Roberts they, played they, they, they did two killer. Movies. They did 19 what? 19 what ish? She was the playmate in the 80s? Yeah, Star 80. Star what 80. the fuck is wrong? Jesus with Christ, Joe. What the fuck is wrong? I'm <laughs> stupid. Star 80. How old is Manny O. Pacquiao? Hey, don't be a dick. <laughs> I'll say it right. Would you like me to search the web for. Yes. Searching the web for how old is Manny Paquillo? Pacquiao. <laughs> yeah. Paquillo. What the up. fuck? Yeah, I, yeah. Some, do you ever prejudge a woman? Like, do you judge a woman and go, that chick's pussy stinks? <laughs> like, sometimes I look at a woman, I go, I guarantee her pussy smells fucking horrible. <laughs> you know, her ass. I can look at a chick and go, I yeah. guarantee her ass smells fucking Well, if you've seen a girl that's like a sloppy drunk with dirty feet, you got to imagine there's something going on. I always go by weight, usually. because Bigger girls have a worse smell? Yeah, because they could be like trying to clean their pussy for like the last... Five years and it was like the wrong crack. Yeah, but time. I dated this Italian skinny chick that had a little wang to her monkey when I was a kid. I mean, it a didn't stop wang me from eating her. It didn't stop me from eating her. She was skinny. A slight like, wang. Like she had to be like 90 pounds, but her pussy weighed 60. She was one of those chicks and she was Italian. So it smelled like fucking, it was tremendous. No, it's this joint, it's this drink. And what happened was, what time at the, the Miami Improv had a, had a condo? Across the street from it, the old Miami Improv, and it belonged to one of the owners. It was where he put his mistresses and shit, his bitches. But after he bought the club, he donated to the club, and it had the bed in the wall. I must have fucked 80 women in there. I used to tie them up up there. I would tie them up and do, put coke rocks in their pussy and shit, and they would all wake up tied up like Jesus and shit. And if you get that bed, you can still see like eight ropes still left on there. I always had to get new rope to tie them up. But one time, I wasn't there, and they called me, and like, where are you? And I'm like, I'm in L.A., what's going on? They're like, were you at the condo two weeks ago? And I'm like, no. And they're like, because whoever was there left a mess, and they left a thousand poppers. Oh, and I go, no. Well, I look like the type of mother. I snort coke, dog. Don't confuse me with doing fucking poppers. And it was a little thing like this, and you opened it, and it had locker in it. It said, what's that, like rock locker room or something? That's and, what it was called? And you would sniff it, and it would get you, like, high, like, for 60 <laughs> seconds. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like a on? motherfucker. What movies you see lately? Anything good? I saw Despicables, uh, Despicable Me too. Movie and shit. It was a good movie. Those movies always they're better That's than the real a, fucking movies. It's All a, those kid movies. It's a good fucking movie. It I'm was a fucking, a good I watch movie. cartoons now. Fuck television. Fuck all that Family Guy. I'm watching SpongeBob. That's the shit. Yeah. Motherfucker listen to Pineapple. It's true. Under the Sea. It's true. And Giggles is also in. Seattle, the place that was run by the Vietnam vet that I would take a draw from him on Thursday and by Saturday he'd forget. <laughs> he was a Vietnam. Then I call him Monday and ask him who was there next week and he'd go, when was the last time you worked the club? Oh, that's hilarious. Go, Three did... years ago, I'll see you Friday. He had, he forgot he that bad? everything. Oh my Once God. Once I learned, I would get the waitresses on Saturday night and I'd go, come here, find out who's the feature act next week. I'd call him Monday, 9 Hey, right. what's up, buddy? Joe Diaz, who's featuring this week? When was the last time you were at my club? Ooh, a year ago. <laughs> and you had to be fucking spotless clean. Right. But he wouldn't show up till, to see the headliner. And there was a curtain on the stage, and you could right. see his Jaguar pull up. Oh, that's so hilarious. as soon as the Jaguar pulled up, I did my clean stuff. As soon as he went in, he'd only come in for one minute. And I just bombed for two minutes. He'd only come in, look at the back, and then he'd go in. One minute. This is hysterical. This is how much, this is how who boxed this guy was. I forget the guy's name. He's a track coach in Seattle. Very good guy. Was on HBO. He's just a college track coach. He doesn't travel as much. He was headlining. He's a great comic and a great monologist. He's completely clean. This motherfucker gets off stage, and the owner of the club goes up to me and goes, let me tell you something. I went in there three minutes ago, and you were being dirty. Don't ever do that in my club. And he's like, me? (laughs) <laughs> and, and finally comes up to me and goes, I was just about to rat you out, but I remember he's a Vietnam vet. 
and he got hit with a missile or something. That's his <laughs> and then He sold it. He sold the club to a Mormon. If you could go to another state, which one would it be? Colorado. It would be Colorado? Why not? Hmm. Yeah. I can't figure it what out. What about Seattle? Would I you do that if you could get no, back? Man. <laughs> Fuck that shit. How come? I'm fucking living in Seattle from September to fucking December. Too you crazy. Go up there. Too you dark. You go up there. Too I green. love these people. I like to be me. Seattle's so cool. Yeah. Seattle's cool. Go up there in September and wait till you see two fucking weeks of nonstop fucking rain and the gutters and you can't go nowhere. And all you want to do is wake up, look around. You know, when you wake up here, you go to pee and the sun cre creeps through your fucking windows. What do you do when you wake up for two weeks and it's fucking gray? And then it's gray in November and it gets a little sunny for three days. Then it's rainy again for three weeks. Take Relax, people. I mean, how do you? How does anybody Rocky handle that? Balboa. Yeah, and you're a young I'm player. I'm playing a guy that Rocky took in with a fucking. He was. It was a horrible fucking. What was the guy that? What was the black guy in that movie? Who's the big black guy that did all those uh, movies and that, that did? Who was uh, Tyson's manager that robbed him? Don King. Don King. Remember the Don King in, in that movie? Oh yeah. He was the worst. Come on, Tommy. Come with me in the limo. We got oh, whiskey. That's right. We got whiskey and white women. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy just got punched in the head with Ray Mercer. What are you going to do? You're going to stand there next to Sylvester? Fuck no. No, I think that Remember was Remember he was doing before. blow in the limo? Get yeah. that scene up. Get that scene up when he's doing blow in the limo. <laughs> She's got those little white milky titties. He's going fucking bananas. Rocky's like, what about when I taught you? Fuck you, bitch. This bitch is banging. Remember being 16 and going home. You were a junior in high school. I wasn't sleeping. I mean, at this time, there was no sleep happening. I just wasn't sleeping. I well, was, you were doing coke? I was doing coke by myself. By I yourself? Was, I would go home and listen to Master Reality by Black Sabbath. <laughs> I was just into the void and people and <sighs> popes hanging on a rope. <sighs> and I would put do the coke, and I'd probably do a little hit of mescaline, too, or something to get me going. And I'd sit in that fucking corner. I didn't smoke cigarettes. I didn't do nothing. And I'd just go do this. Look, I'd rock like a fucking retard back and forth. I still remember that shit. Wow. And I'd be like, Jesus Christ, this is my life. I'm going to fucking kill somebody listening <laughs> to this shit. <laughs> You know, How many days can you stay up for before you start going crazy? There's a number, right? Three. Three? I, How many I, days have you ever done it? Coke? How many days have you stayed up? I've never done that. You never stayed up? No, I never did that. I still went to bed. How many I days did, have you stayed uh, up? One time, I stayed up three nights. Uh, oh, Friday, my God. Friday, Saturday, and by Saturday night, I kept calling the police. <laughs> right? I kept calling the police, telling them that there was somebody <laughs> in my house, right? <laughs> And they kept, this is when I was house-sitting on Far Away Road in Snowmass Village. Wow. Okay, and I'm up there, and my, me and my girlfriend were going to her, listen to this, me and my girlfriend at the time are going to her brother's wedding, and I'm going to meet her parents for the first time. And I went to New York, and I got two ounces of blow, and I gave one to an electrician buddy of mine. And I said, hold an ounce of this. I'm going to pick it up the night before I go to fucking this wedding. And I get there by 11 o'clock on a Thursday night. I pick up the ounce. I go home. About one o'clock, the motherfucker's calling me. Wow. I do a line, I do another one. I'm, let me tell you how bad it got. The dog I had at the time, Hercules, was probably a year old. I loved him. I didn't let him out of the house the whole weekend. He held that piss like a soldier. Do you what? understand me? I didn't let For him out. For a whole weekend, he held weekend. his piss? I wouldn't let him out. This is how crazy I Is was. that possible? Who the fuck cares? He didn't piss. I kept looking at him every time he cried. <laughs> That's it. You ain't going out. And I had no porn, right? So I whacked off to what's the movie with the lady in red? Vanessa Redgrave? The lady in red, the chick that was married to Steve Seagal, you fuck. Oh, what is her name? <laughs> Michelle LeBrock. Le Kelly LeBrock. Kelly LeBrock. Kelly LeBrock. Yeah. And, and, and Kelly LeBrock in Woman in Red shows her pussy <gasps> for a slip second. No. Uh, yes, she does. When, when Gene Wilder calls for her. When okay. Gene Wilder calls That's for her. She runs off to bed, and they show her bush. I figured out with the VCR how to lock it on the fucking <laughs> bush, and I'd sit there with my dick in my belly button, and I'd whack it off, and then I'd hear something happen, and I'd call the cops. And after the third time, they sat me down. They're like, listen, you got to stop doing cocaine. I had the cocaine hidden in the sink, so if somebody happened, I'd lift the water and hit the compressor button. They would have never gave him another eight if above the law. In the beginning when he's doing the class with the Aikido dude. Oh yeah. That's how the movie starts. Go yeah. chung Go chung go chung. When he goes to that bar and starts bit slapping people with that fucking straight arm to the neck, that was tremendous. Yeah. Oh yeah. Then he started killing Jamaicans. What was the movie with the fucking Jamaicans and shit? <sighs> I see that black dude in what auditions and shit. I want to shake his hand. What's the move with the Jamaicans when he went to the mall Let's with the it. Colombians and the Santeria? Fucking tremendous that movie. That what was, was that movie? That was Back for More 2. <laughs> back for More 2. 
I saw a Clint Eastwood marathon in San Francisco on the Tenderloin. <laughs> when Clint Eastwood tells the guy to pick up the gun, the, and the black guy yelled from the back, shoot that black motherfucker. <laughs> the place went down. <laughs> <laughs> he just said, shoot that black <sighs> motherfucker. I really enjoy getting high, uh, Red Band. I really do. But guess what? When you show up with a fucking dab and a pipe and a fucking torch and shit like that, it's time for you to stop. Why does everybody always want to make crack out of everything? Oh, I know. First they did it to coke. You just couldn't snort yes. coke no more. Now I got to mix it with gasoline fucking and fucking toenails, put it in a jar with paint, and, and, and <laughs> smoke it. No, no, no. That's not strong enough. Well, that's what people are always doing. A it, guy, it's just amazing. If now, you blow him, he wants to stick it to your ass. Now, yeah, well, you got a good point there, at least a finger. But now, <laughs> you know. You saw him perform there? No, I saw him by the belly room going up the stairs one night. What do you mean? You saw a ghost? You're, you're shaking your head, yes. Did it come out of a pussy? No, I was sitting there watching. <laughs> I was up next. Did you use your I was dick up as an next. actress? I was up next to the other two, and I was standing by that thing there, and I kept seeing there's a light on the top of the belly room. There's a big red light, dog. And right. you're there watching the comic. And I had like two away, so it was that comic and one more before me. And I was watching, waiting, killing time, and I kept seeing something keep going past my eye. You see the light. The How many days did you be awake? I didn't do blow and go on stage. I did blow when I got off stage. And I'm sitting there going, what the fuck is this light? And finally I look up. You know how he wore that stupid long jacket? Yeah. It was like I saw the tail end of the jacket. I went upstairs. There was nobody up there, dog. I saw it. I saw it with my own two fucking eyes. I never felt no. I never got chased. Nobody pulled me. Dice has a story where he was upstairs and they heard them banging on the door. Uh, crazy. Uh, Corey Cuomo has a story where she heard uh, music in the fucking main room, like old band music, like the Titanic type music. Who the... who was the older guy that was a, a veteran? Brett, um, something right now. A lot of people heard different things. There. Yeah, you know, I didn't. I never got touched or pulled. I know that the original room has a weird energy, and you're right. The Sunset Strip does have something special. There's something there. There's something there. There's no something doubt about that, it. There's something that points at that comedy store. The, the big mistake they're going to do is they're going to knock that down and build something over it, and it's going to be like a carry movie. The hands are going to come out of the ground. <laughs> and, you know?